Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, the tutorials. Last time we saw how to uh, start with the EEP17. We saw the main win window as you can see now. We uh, learned how to move in the 2D and 3D window. We laid our first tracks, duplicated them, made our first circle and put a train on it, let it uh, run automatically and manually that uh, was already the basics. Now this time we are going to erase all of this and we will start with our layout. The one where we will build our own railway network on it and that we will expand with the upcoming tutorials. So what we will learn today is after having built our circle, how to lay switches. So we will see that there are different ways to build a switch, a turnout if you want. We will learn how to put a platform and a railway station, that's fine. And then we will put our trains on it, make them run, but they will run automatically thanks to signals we will have implemented in our railway network and we will automate them. So let's start. We need a new layout. Let's make it bigger. We will need a little more space. And there we are. First of all, let's start here with choosing a track. I want the one with concrete sleepers. Since we are going to use a train on a high speed and they need concrete sleepers. Wooden sleepers won't be enough. So let's place our first one. I zoomed out. As you can see, place this one here. I'm going to duplicate it many times. Okay, it should be okay now. I'm going to take almost all the space here. I'm using the clothoid, I want it. Start angle is here, we are straight, that means zero. And I want the clothoid to go until 22 and a half. That's how you need, that's how you have to consider it. So I'm doing another one, you know now that that is also a clothoid. I need now an arc with 22 and a half, that's okay. I have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Must be okay if I'm right. Yes. Now I change this one in another clothoid. The first angle, this one here, is 22 and a half. That is angle A, A, and here angle B, I want it to be on zero. Since there will be a straight one. And here you have it, as you can see. So, that's pretty good now. Let's mark the block. Let's duplicate it. Right click. I want to rotate it by 180. I'm zooming in, moving here. And now it's time. Holding the shift key to fix it. I'm zooming I'm zooming in even more, holding the shift key and there you are. I leave my left button, leave the shift key, click one, two times and here I have my pretty circle. Should be good enough. So now that that is done, time to place platforms. What you are going to do, we will choose one. Let's say you will find them here. That's a menu for the track side objects. Related to the trains. Here, platforms. I want the station from Baden-Baden. You can choose another one if you want. I want to switch now in 3D and 
Here you are, you know. It was where the camera was set. That's to say, you see here in green the camera and the direction with the straight and a fat line here. Unzoom it, you're in the overview window, you place the camera and you want to place it here because you want to see your station. Here you are. So, let's have a look. With this border, that's fine. We will unzoom a little. Well, the difference between trackside object, objects here, this one, and the structures is that the trackside objects already have a rail, as you can see here. So, let's start. Now, what we need also is a platform. Station platforms, I want the two-way one here, that's nice, and I want it to be placed. Release, release it, select a track, delete it, and here, have a look how easy it is. I click here my platform, I use the shift key, I'm taking this track here to see here the link, the key, the chain you can see here, and then I release my left button and it adapts automatically to the direction. I select my station here. I do the same. This time I don't want it because I'm going to place it. After, with the second rail here, I'm taking my station, moving it with my left button held down, and as you can see, I have the link. I leave it. It's rotated automatically in the good direction the connection is made. What I now need is here, I remove this one, I need another platform with only one track, I have it here, that's fine, Come, put it here in place, there you have it. And now let's say we need another with two, with two tracks, here you have it, escape, taking it, going close, well, here you have it. That was too long, as you can see, I remove it. What if you want to close here the track? You can close it easily using the control G, or the same function can be done here. In assemble, close gap. Control G, you hit on the blue arrows here and the connection is made automatically. So, here you have your platform. It's time to put switches. But before putting switches, we are going to save our layout to make sure we can come back to a, a previous copy if we mess something up. So, therefore, go here, save as, save, and here choose in this folder or where you want it. Mine is here in French, as you can see. I want a new file. It will be called tutorial EP17. For that, I'm sure to know where it will be saved. And here I want to say tuto step one. It's saved. That's fine. Now, each time you will save it, save it here by save as, save, and here you come back here and you set it to step two and so on. Because otherwise it will be overwritten and it won't help. Now that that is done, let's go back to 2D mode and start with the tracks. 
Now in track menu, we choose here, not the cloth weed, but the track. After it, the arc, and we right click on it and change it to a two way switch. You see here, the lantern is here. We want it to be on the other side. There are two possibilities to do so. Holding the shift key and double click on it on the white circle. Here you have your switch or you can make a right click on it and swap beginning and end. So that's fine. My track is yellow. Why is it yellow? Because here a track is lacking, a connection is lacking. So here we go. We want here another track. As you as you saw it, I double clicked pretty near here at the end and it fixed automatically. Now I have this one here. I will duplicate it until hmm, here, hmm, maybe too short. So I prefer having, having it longer. Control G, one, two, and the connection is done, as you can see. Now the question. Why is it still yellow? Why all the connections are satisfied? That's because I moved here my uh, little switch and the connections aren't 100% how it should be. I'm going back in 3D mode, zooming out, how to fix it. I'm in the tracks hitting here my switch, holding the shift key. I just move slightly and leave it again. That's fine. Do the same here with this one and with this one. Going back here, it's blue. That's fine. We made our first switch. Let's now duplicate this one here, a track above, that means minus one is below. We want it to be above, so that will be four. That's how you can set it. Otherwise, duplicate it here, oops, you have it here in four and a half, and let's now move here, direction was done, that is the clothoid here, as you can see. I don't want it to start right now, that's straight here, that will be the one we will replace. I'm putting them out and now I'm going to use an animated turnout. I'm going back to 3D mode using a camera to be on the right place. Here I am, move it up, turn a little around. And here I want to use animated switches. Where do you find them? Here in the side objects. I untick this one. When you tick one, twice, they are cumulative, that means all the items here will be visible in this control dialog here. I want this time animated tracks objects, switch. I take a 500 one, it will go to the right, that's fine here. Let's animate it and in concrete. I have it, is not in a good direction, is not a problem. Tick on it, hold the shift key, the link, you see it, the, the chain is appearing, I leave my left button, there you have it. It's connected in the good direction, 
what now? Let's duplicate this one. I double click on it. That's fine. Never use the control G function. Or I would say never use it when it's to close too long gaps and where there is a, a curve because it will make it smoother and it won't look nice. So here, control G, you see how all the connections that can be done. That's the first one. That's the second one. So here, now we could say, well, isn't my station too far from here? Yes. Yes, it looks like. So what can we do? We remove here, here, here. And let's say now I'm going to move this block closer to it. I hit the Alt, I tick on my platforms, I tick on my station, right click, move block, there you go. I'm zooming closer. Here you see the chain, you can leave it. Up, the connection is done. As you can see. Now I have another problem that was not the good one. Hold the shift key, that was this one. Now it's done. I hit the escape button, that's fine, it's no longer highlighted. What I'm going to do now is to close by another switch there. So. Here, I'm going to show you something else. Before going further, you have another, another possibility to make switches. For that, you need here to have the program settings and split the track and add a switch. Ticked. OK. Now, let's see what happens if I put here a track. I want a railway, a track, take this one here, I place it here, that's fine, hitting the escape button, and here the escape key was pressed, I can now bend it, holding the shift key, and when I'm closing the track to this one, you see a chain appearing. And here you have a switch. That's also an easy way to create switches. And it works. If you're holding the shift key now, you're going in play mode. Have a look. So that is another easy way to build switches. But, have a look here, that is a switch, well, it's the same one you will see there, so I'm using, it's a little big, it's the same one you will have here, have a look, it's pretty the same. But that not that beautiful. Oh yeah, maybe I didn't show you how to move like I did now. Right click on the, uh, with the right mouse button. When you're in the middle, it will go not that fast. When you're way up, it will move faster. You can go reverse, left and right. So let's have a closer look to this switch here. That's the animated one. As you can see here, it's separated. Here you have also a 
higher definition or is done nice like in the reality let's say that's the best switch you can have and have a look here it's animated that looks fine that's why I prefer when it's a, when you can use it use these only straight you have a different kind of switches but they need to be in a straight line so time to save a little here and pursue I'm going to remove the switch I placed here because I don't want to have this kind of switch. Going back to the normal mode, the editorial mode, and here the switch is still there. I don't want it to be placed. Here I want it to be a normal track. And the switch disappeared as you can see. So now, let's go further, this one here, I'm going to place another track, turn him back in 2D, have the possibility also to change here, have a look here, I'm hitting the shift key, if you want it to be a little lighter, if you want it to be a little clearer, you can use here this function using the shift key. This function also used without shift key removes the structures if you want to be more precise. Without shift key with shift key. Without shift key with shift key. So can leave it there that's nice let's now work on these tracks and finish them so what we want is here another one to close I used here one track and the second one is done so let's say I need here one track hitting my shift key and it's turned as you can see this one was too long so I'm going to remove these that should be my track so that's fine now I want here to add my animated track here my animated turnout so I'm going here in this menu animated track objects combinations I want a 500 it's going to be turn left this time 500 left in concrete there you have it holding down the shift key zooming in that's fine Place it there, almost close. Now I'm finishing it in the 3D mode. As you can see, that's the only way to make to be sure that it will be fixed like it should. Control G, closing the track. Now I'm having a look for this one there, going to duplicate it move here we'll have to zoom in because it won't be that easy otherwise here double click the arrow waiting for the arrow double click I need some more double click still need some double click looks fine control G 
I'm close enough. The connection is done. Now, this one here. I need here the track to close. So, let's close it a little farther. I would say I want to close it Yes, should be okay. I want to close it, let's say here, should be fine. Doing it, convert to a two-way switch, or you can make it as before. I want to make it as a two-way switch. Here, I'm searching for my track. I want this one, place it once here. Shift key, there you have it. I duplicate and here control G. Here you see it's not finished yet, but now it's okay. You have it there. I would say it's too close here from this one. So I remove this, change it in a normal track, and I'm choosing this one here. Convert it to a two way switch. Here, I duplicate it once more. Control G. There you have it. It's so easy, as you can see. And that's done now. Have a look back here in 2D mode and what I'm going to do is to make sure the directions are the ones I want. So here it's the first track. I want my trains to travel here. That will be in direction one. How to change it here. Double click. Double click with the shift halt held down. Shift key held down, I double click on the white circle. That will be easier for me to place the contact points. Here it's on the other way. That's to say I want them to go that way. Control, control. I'm changing the direction as you can see here. I'm hitting the shift key and the white circle. Or you can do right click, swap beginning and end. That's it. So we will make here a switch for the other one because we will have two trains. First of all, we will make it simple. That's to say the trains will travel first train, second train. But after that, we will have three trains. And for that, we will need here another track to make it possible. So. What are we doing? Going here to the tracks. I want to select a whole bunch of them. Here we are. So I have this one. I have selected a lot of them. That's fine. I want to have tracks at 480. No, that was not the direction I wanted. So I'm going back. I can escape so taking back here the problem is the direction here was the opposite that's why it isn't it didn't go up minus minus 1 
50 and here you have your second track that's nice what do I want here I want here to have Well, we'll build it. No, let's say not in a curve. Straight. Well, it could be in a curve. It's it's the same direction, but no, I don't want that. Let's say that is a straight, and here I want to change it. Remove this one. Right click here. Two way switch. Not the good direction, as you can see. So here I'm hitting here, Control G. It's done. I will have to move this one, and I'm doing the same for this track. Is to close, remove this one, choose this one, right click, two-way switch. That's the good direction. Control G. Hit both and here you have it well I said before here it's yellow because I changed the direction of my track so I'm going to make my little hint you see it also that the pro there is a problem with the connection when this latin is turning around hit here shift key it's still turning around the connection isn't net and here it's okay it's no longer turning as you can see that means it's okay with the connections so that is done let's zoom out we made another portion there time to put signals I will save this in step 2 I forgot to show you another way to build switches. Let's say we will put one here and we will remove it or don't do it. Just have a look. I'm removing this one here. I'm going to assemble. But you need to go in 2D mode, assemble. And here you can make branch out here. Let's say the angle, length, spacing, four meters and a half. It's okay. Here you have it. And there you have a switch. You can move this one. And here, if you want, hold down the shift key. I'm in it, can't move anymore. One two and here I have my switch of course the track here is too long but you know it it's fine I'm going here to show you how it looks like that was another way to build a, a switch as you can see so I don't want that I will remove my track this one this one this one, this one, this one, and it should be okay. I'm removing even more. Control G, I tick, and my track is closed again. So, time to put signals. We are going here. You can put the signals here if you want. So, I'm placing Let's say the first one using signals, main signals. I want it here to have this one here, first one. Have a lot of them if you want. But I'm going to use this one. I'm placing it here. You see all the switches and signalizations 
have a number with four digits. That will be useful if you want to uh, add contact points that we are going to do and to know which switch you need to automate. They are all different. The switches can be moved here on clicking on it. That's the same here, but you need to click with the shift key held down. Here you see there is a pre signal. You can move the pre signal away without problem. Let's say the train is traveling this way up. You need to know, okay, you will have to stop, put it there. And he is going to slow down before entering here the train station. This line here that you can see, maybe not, wait a minute, maybe you see it better now. This line is the, the line where the train is going to stop. You don't want it to be there. You want the line to meet, let's say, the station here. So you can move this line. I'm going to set it. Here you see it will stop there. But breaking distance, I don't want it to be that close. Let's say my signal is placed at 5. OK. Here you see that is a way to put it at 5 meters from the signal. There is another way to make it and I'm going to show it. Anyway, right click on it. I place it on danger. I want the train here, model braking distance 5 meters. Here you can associate other signals to the same one. That means this one, if this one is green, the other one will be red and so on. And here the conditions between the switch and so on. So let's say OK for now. Now I'm going to show you how you, you can place the signals in 3D mode. Placing camera. I want to be here. So open the control dialog, choose signals, main signal. That's the one we used. I put it here and I put another one here. Let's say I will show you what happens if you put on the wrong side. So here I put the last one the wrong side. I mean I wanted it to to be on this side but clicked on the left of the of the track here. So it was placed on the other side. How to move it again? Click here on the press signal and you just have to place it before the main signal. As you can see it switches automatically the side. So I'm going to remove this one, that's too much, and the two others can stay. So having here my signal, I'm having here the pre-signal, I'm going to place it, taking the red arrow and moving it all the way up. until. There, that's okay. Doing the same here with this one, but later on. Here you see a red line. The red line, you can move the red line here, the stop, using the control key held down. And now you have here an arrow you can move until the end of the platform. Here you see a red arrow. That's fine. Doing the same with this one. Second, holding shift key. I can go further, further because you have the press signal here. Shift key, no, uh, the control key held down. I'm 
replacing the signal almost there that's okay is it straight looks so hmm. well it looks so holding the control key moving my stop that's fine going back to 2d mode because I I will have a look here uh, okay I have I have here my press signal that I'm going to move it's easier in 2d mode to move on greater distances as you can see that's the one here but you have to know here this third track enables some trains to go straight away and don't stop to the station that's why it will be driven in the two directions i need another one here if i want another signal here if there should be any problem or to close the, the circulation it's the same as you can see another direction and it looks like I'm not at the good wait a minute am I good or not we'll have a look in 3d mode Am I placed? Yes, it's okay. That's the good one here. So I can move it a little up. As you can see, I'm going to place it here. Object, object pro properties, five meters. Moving now here. So I know I'm all almost like it should that's okay so now let's place contact points to automate the whole system here we go back in 2d mode and here i'm going to signal contact signal you select the signal here and here you have the possibility to erase contact points here to set one. You select one and you place it here. Right click on it. Direction 1. At end of the train I want my signal to be set on danger. Okay. So the train will leave here when it's on set on uh, set to clear and end of the train here will trigger the contact point that tells okay here go back to danger now you can tell okay I want another contact point here for this signal and I will put it here so I know okay a train is entering the station, it will be held to the signal. This time I want my signal here. So, direction. Hmm, direction 2 it will be, but it will not be in this part. The train will enter. It will be this side here. So, when the train enters the station here, 
at end okay at end of the chain I delay the operation by let's say five seconds signal 7 will be set to clear that's okay so train enters he will go here and it will be set to red so here I put another contact point for this one here signal contact point I place it here right click its direction 2 at end of the chain I want my signal to be set to danger so this one here oh, as you can see it's not a good direction we are in a switch that can happen so here right click on it here the arrow shows the direction to trigger the contact point so the train will leave will be turned to red here again that's fine and now we need here another one for still this signal here and it will be set here in direction 1 that's correct so when the train enters end of the train delay after 5 seconds go to clear so here you have go to danger here you have to go to clear the train enters here will be stopped at the signal and here it will be set to green you can go on that's nice but now what we also need is when here it's set to green we want the switch to be on main how to know what is the right po uh, position here the lantern changed right click on it you see branch here left click to change the lantern right click main that means to make it nice as soon as my signal here is going to turn on green I want my uh, I want my um, switch here to turn on main to make sure it all goes smooth so here that is signal 3 signal or switch 3 when the signal is set to clear I want it to be on main when the signal is set to danger I want no change that's it now have a look as soon as I will move this one here it will move also this one you will see this on 3d when uh, we are playing with it I will set will do the same here for this switch if this switch here it will be set to main let's say I'm going back here the green one that means I'm going this way up here I want a contact for this switch so I'm choosing switch for this one place it there so switch here you have the contact and in direction maybe one yes it's the good one when the train is coming here I want it to be on main because here that is branch it's okay branch as you can see so I want it to be on main let's place it here when the train is coming here I want it to be on main that's fine it will be nice so that is done for this switch here if he's running here I want here another one the train is going here right click in direction 
let's say uh, in direction one it should be that okay right click I want it to be a branch so the train is going this way up I want it to be on branch so it will turn here into into it will stop here if the train is going here I want my switch here to be on which position on main so here the same right click direction one I want my switch to be on main when the train goes this way up and here when the train goes here in this direction I have it there placing it a little far so let's say in direction one it will be branch have a look yes because here I want it to go branch that's nice and here we won't move anything because the train is not going to go in the third we don't need it for now that's nice and when he goes down when he leaves the switch is already programmed to turn now let's do the same here we want it to stay how it is so I put the both there we don't automate this part now so that's done we automated all of these we'll turn all the signals to red to danger okay because we want to be in command so here danger it's fine they are all set to danger as you can see we will save this one save as step 3 signals and contact points were set enter so here we placed our signals we placed the contact points to manage the signals and the switches the turnouts here we could already automate all the all the layout but since we are using some locomotives but also electric ones we need a power supply and therefore first thing we need to do is put here electricity on the tracks we use these we should have used these have a look you have difference between the two here you have a power supply line here you have nothing to change this quickly go back to 2d mode select in the tracks menu that one here to select a block right click across means nothing changes unticked means no electricity ticked means put electricity on it that's it and the tracks already have cut have a, a power line you see it and the white nodes are the catenary nodes here we'll have an issue well it's not an issue but that's uh, that's a problem since the platform here has not the same length than the usual tracks here that's why we need to change some settings and the same issue is here with the animated turnouts since um, the turnouts are longer than our tracks here so the nodes are set differently we need them to be to match each, each other so that's fine that's fine here that one is also cool here it's okay but here we have the issues here on that side here on that part so we need to change that one here how to proceed it's easy take only the, uh, the tracks that you want to uh, unelectrify and we will change these so 
have a look that's okay yeah that's nice that's also nice yeah also they match they match almost everywhere so we only have to change here on these tracks here yeah. here as you can see here it's matching and the track above is not matching anymore we need to select these so let's select these track properties don't want it to be electrified okay this one as well won't be electrified here the same electricity no electricity mm -hmm. I want that here I'm almost done. Electricity. And here you see you have also some issues here for that track here and that one. So let's change some settings. Electricity. Okay, and here also no electricity. Okay, so have a look, it's almost okay. That's fine, that's fine. Here you have some issues for this part here. So we can change here, we should change that here. And that here, that one as well. Time for us to set things how they should so that's easy go here catenary and you want this one here overlay of a headline have the one you want it to be electric apps put it there put the track there make it closer is it okay? I don't know. We put it as line. Let's say 50. Should be that. Okay. Then we have to put it there. It's on it. Here we need another one. Can't make it go far. Here you have one, it's okay. Here you have this one here. Make it a little longer. That's fine. Here you see. Yeah, met. The notes are set. That's fine. Here you have an issue since there are other tracks. So this one will be removed. We need another one. We'll start at the end here. 
that's almost okay let's say we need that one here that's a, lo a little too long so let's make it shorter like that here right click property oh yes we will have some problems with the height there we need it to be 1.3 that's not a problem we'll change it afterwards yeah you have a line let's duplicate it once will be too long so let's shorten it a little a little more be sure it's still a line it's okay once again there you have one until here then you need another one to match the other points it's almost okay so that's okay that's okay here we can have some differences that's not a problem so that matches that matches here also that's okay matches matches okay now let's do it for above so here you see we need one two three we will need some so I need one here put it there it will be a little one so until here right click properties I leave it at 0.6 we'll change it afterwards I want it to be a line okay and now once again it's fine once again it's too short is it a line have a look yes it's okay then another one it's okay another one it seems okay maybe a little more just a little more yeah it's okay 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 and here you need a big one so you can take this one make it longer until there that's okay last one here make it shorter to match that point that's it here you have the catenary nodes having a look here quickly looks okay well time to go in 3d and to put all the things at the height it should be so here we are starting here having a look well here it matches that's okay it's still okay yeah it's okay yeah you have one and here you have nothing so there are some things that are lacking here so going back to 2d mode what is lacking is here between those here it's okay here it's lacking so we can put another one a short one here that's fine it's put in place let's have a look well let's start with line at the right 
uh, you see it's the height as said before it's 0.3 and not 0.6 but that gives you the, the opportunity to look if everything is okay here it's not this it's not 100% okay so we can move this a little to the right We will need to shorten that here. Oh, taking that one and bending it. So, first of all, I want it to be at 0.3. Now I'm going to take it closer keep it at 0.3 it's doing this because it matches the, the height of the, the ground here if I didn't put that we shouldn't have any problems so since I'm going to move I'm going to put that back again right click properties set it as a line So I'm back again and as you can see here it should lack a little and that's this that's what happening so putting here the shift key holding down and there you go that's okay here it looks okay have a look shift key yes it's okay that one as well here you see the, there is a di little difference because of the notes that, that were already in place hit it on that one you only move here a little and that's already done so till here it's okay now we can go until the end so here it started back again here so let's have a look that's fine here you see there is a difference I put it at 0 0.3 0 0.3 that's done having a look it's not reaching it so we are not taking the right one that's the good one it will pop up it's of course same issue because on the other side it's already fixed so I'm bending it because otherwise it will take the same height at as the other ones here that's not what I want so here going at, at 0 0.3 0 0.3 there it goes and here going to move it not that one not that one here going to move it to make it fix that's okay and now can put it back as a line line okay that's it that one here is going to match so I hit it shift move it it takes same height and so on that's okay and here we still need some tracks to go to the end as you can see here we didn't lay them or did we they are here wait a minute here you see someone some track is 
lacking that's why I'm bending it to remember here is lacking the track going back here at the other side so let's say here yeah do we lack something no everything is okay that's okay let's go back to the others so we have here There you have the track, it's okay. Let's split it into two. We have it into two. And here, some the track is lacking. So I'm taking this one, I will bend it. I can bend it, unfortunately. I have to bend this one. So here, put it at 0.3, but I'm going to first lay the track there, will be problematic otherwise. Here, having a look, I have here, who was a pretty too fast. Here is it. Was a, was a little too fast. Here, I'm in the station yeah, it's okay see I see my little things here and here what is there is it missing on the other side here okay and here I stopped but it's okay I stopped but that's okay here yeah, that's fine so going back here to duty mode where uh, does it lack? Here it lacks. That one wasn't done. That's okay here. That's nothing. So here that one is lacking. Rotate that one. You can rotate here in the middle if you want. So take the middle, hold the click and go far away from the middle so you can rotate slowly so here and that here is going to reduce that's it I'm on it so that one will be replaced how it should and here we were lacking one that was that little piece here so let's put another one here put it way shorter I'm going to put that back in place here I'm in the middle now I'm going to put that one oh still moving my track leaving it leaving it it's okay and I will put this one on it track I want a line okay and here I want to put it there that's it now return in 3d mode where am I and my I'm at the end okay well let's start with this one then I changed this one so have a look is it still okay here I have a look that's fine and here it's still okay then I need a little one here that's one here and there. It's almost okay. And here. That's fine. Okay. That's perfect. That is done here. Yeah, it's done. Let's go on the other side was there 
rotates it's going faster as you can see that way so here select it rotate it since till it fixes it's not on the ground this one here so I'm going to put it on ground 0.3 That's too high as you can see, so put it at 0.3. That's fine now. That one here, 0.3. Oh, yeah, 3 that's it it should be okay it's okay we did the hardest part of it now it's going to be very very easy so we are still in a good mode here let's save once now let's select here using the alt alt key held down left key left key to click taking all no i won't take these first only the single ones yeah that's a single one I'm a little too far to click and to be accurate so zooming in a little there you have it okay now what you need are catenaries right go to categories and control dialog here structure catenary and what you need is let's say Yes, this one here, minus zero is okay. Right click on the track, place alongside of a track, but one vertical offset is okay. Only on category nodes, on catenary nodes and apply. And there you have all, all your catenaries here. As you can see, placed everywhere where it was hit. Now, well here are the short ones. That's easy. They are with four and a half. So let's click here and we will only select the external ones. This time we won't. And do we have double ones? Should be the case. We will take these here at eight and a half. We have rusted ones and so on. I need these here. Okay, right click, place. Okay, that's it. So here you have the catenaries at the nodes. And as you see, it's placed correctly at four and a half. That's done. Now let's do here for the catenaries left here. You have one that is not satisfied here, and a second one. Well, let's use single ones for these here. So we will go here on single ones there was that, that one here okay 
right click alongside okay not that not that way up hmm <laughs> well please select the track that one right click place alongside the track that's fine rotation by 180 it's the other side there you have it are placed and here it's double we need that to be done twice so hit it once that's the second one remove it that's fine so that's it now we need on the other side is there another one to be here you need one yeah there is one that's this one here so control dialog I need this one I place it alongside rotation 180 that's it now we have these here in double as you can see remove this one here it's okay it's okay do I have it twice yes I do have it twice replace it only once Put it back in place only once. You can put it back in place. Only once. You can put it back in place. As you can see, that's fine. Here it's set. Here you need another one. So let's say we need here a little one. That. Right click place alongside the track 180 that's here that's fine that is set mm -mm -mm. then we may have another one here that we don't need remove it and at end at the start have here another one double or do we don't we have it double yes it's doubled maybe tripled no so that's it let's go all the way up there moving quickly there here you have two that are lacking okay. That's done so here. Let's do the same here. Time for us to have a look on the other side, as you can see. So, going up, age up here. So, there will be needed some easy ones. So here let's say we will place single single ones right click place alongside okay apply was not a good one so so I select one that's it should be okay now right click place alongside it's by 180 I want to rotate them there there they are that's fine. I need the same up the other on the other side. Or maybe so yes, let's say I need it on the other side now. To bring this one. Right click here. Properties, place objects alongside. You'll need it to be That's what I thought. Don't need it to be rotated. Here 
zero. That's on the good side now. And here, that's where it's going to be fun. That's that one. The two here, they will need with suspensions. This one, right click, place alongside, one offset, OK. That's here. Now the distance between these I need to find out. Uh, here, let's have a look. Properties, 3, 54 and 3, 60, 4 and 10. That means 10 meters 10. So, let's start then. Uh, we don't need this, that one, but we will need the other ones here. So let's start with this one. Cross pen, two tracks. Second track is at 10 meters. Point one, apply, OK, and it's almost wait a minute oh yeah here it's not a good one because it was still the one here with need here a single one with this one here put it alongside the track no rotation that's it so that will be twice now, I guess. Yes, remove that. The same here. Don't need the little one. That's okay, that's enough. Here you don't have it. Now, time to change this one. Properties, cross pan to 10.1. Oops, that's done. Okay. As you can see, it's okay. Here you have the same, so, yeah, that's the one I'm going to select, and the other ones as well, so now, here, then I'm going to select, oh, no, I'm not going to select all that, how we have, we will have two, there's no other way to do, unfortunately, since there are two tracks, well, going to remove the these. It's already okay. And now let's place our these here. Right click place it will be double because uh, as said before our uh, two tracks rotation zero application okay here you have it the first one is okay the rest will be double so here configuration model cross pan three tracks 10.1 and the other one with four and a half is okay That's it, as you can see. Remove that one. Oops. Three, ten point one. That's okay. That's it. That one can be removed, that here, and so on. 3, 10.1. So here we are. We placed our station, placed the platforms, electrified our tracks, Place signals, contact points to manage the signals and also the switches here. We place uh, several switches, animated ones, normal ones and so on, the catenaries, uh, 
so you know you now know how to use the feature placed alongside the track now it's time for us to test our layout you know all should be automated so here let's insert first train you can open train and here with the file open train and make it back again here file open train you can choose a whole train set and put it here on the place and here the whole train set is placed here let's have a look control dialog here you have automatic that's okay manual reverse let's have a look one it's going the good direction put it a hundred and it's going to leave for the station he will stop it's set to red but you remember we place here contact as soon as he enters here the other signal will go to green we don't want that for now shift click it's red again now we place another train so now let's put it the other way you choose here rolling stock now you have the steam one but i don't want to use the steam one here you have the possibility to look when you right click here in the this area here right click with the mouse find model and here you can tip ICE you have all the trains matching it if you want to untick that and see again the steam ones you have to untick after searching here the search models you also have some models that are deprecated and that are not shown to make them also not hidden be sure that that uh, feature here is unticked hide obsolete models then you can see all the models here also the depreciated ones deprecated ones uh, let's look for models i want them to be from epoch epoch 5 i don't want to find models the ECE so I'm looking for any other things and what I'm going to use is mm -hmm. yes that's a nice one here put this one here I want to use then yeah this one fits together one two three four let's close it with another one five here you have it now I go to so escape go here yeah, also you can change some settings as you can see so I move here here you can select let's see that should be this one no it's not this one it's the other one okay now it's connected to that you want someone to appear in front well you have it here i guess i didn't place it in the good direction but well that's the same okay here you have also the possibility to change the destination set here destination that's fine that's okay now let's set the speed Let's have a look at one. It's in the wrong direction as you can see. Right click. It's always useful to try it out first. What you do in that case, go back to editor, edit mode, right click, rear coupler, hold the control key, hold the mouse. We can move it here also. That's also okay. Here you have it and it goes in the, in the wrong direction 
here you can set here direction control dialog I want to turn that you can turn the whole train set as you can see or you can only turn the rolling stock you can do the same here turning the rolling stock say that is front rolling stock as you can see you can do what you want turn the whole rolling stock only the whole train set I mean all the whole rolling stock you can also move the train set on the other way here other track I want to move the train set back again here here he is well he also took the other one took too much space not a problem well go back here and normal mode hit one make it go back that was with the control key I have my one here and the one I want to change so remember it was going the wrong direction here is still the same wrong direction right click here in the speed and it's set to zero pretty fast so yeah you're going back that's the one you want to turn it set to one and it's okay now as you can see now what you're doing is keep it there take that one and first make sure rear coupler is active oh I only took one with me and I can't take all the things I only took holding it with the control doing the same here control key down I will take it back that's fine before now leaving because it's not set to the good direction here I change direction of this one so you can go back here set axis group that's the two I want here not the one the one will be turned off I want to see my my uh, driver here in front of it here it's going to be something else let's say that's fine and now you can put it at 80 let's say and he will drive away doing it pretty fast now I'm having a look am I set here on red I hope so otherwise it will go through and I don't want that that's okay I'm on the red so time to show how it works turning around so the train will enter the station and here it will be set on green speed speeding it up way faster as you can see is entering stopping and my train leaves it's going there enters the station and here turns to green then red again Yeah, having a look here closer. That's green. That's green. Red again. So that's it. The first automated track, as you can see. Next time we are going to deal with tunnels, with landscaping, and we will automate uh, even more and use three trains. So. If you want me to deal with other features or explain you some uh, explain you some uh, or explain you some uh, different uh, things you didn't uh, understand 
feel free to uh, ask and uh, leave a comment below. Wishing you a nice day and see you next time. Bye.